All right, how are you doing? I am Colin, and we're Shine Automotive. And Christmas was over a long time ago. Right, anyway, it's part two of the Mercedes Vito van. This has been filmed over a while. If you don't know us, we're a Car Project YouTube channel on the cheap. I waffle a lot, and we film a week in Shine, which is the day-to-day -day life that we get up to in the garage. And we bought a Mercedes Vito van in part exchange deal in November last year, I think. And we're just going to start tidying it up people like the video got some good feedback off the last video so here's an update on part two enjoy so what i'm gonna do is just is a temporary thing for winter because that is annoying me right i've got some stickers and some bits and bobs laying around i'm gonna see if i can do something with that the tailgate is knackered right but i have a tailgate to collect hopefully and hopefully it's the same color because there is a few dinks but that there that ain't rotten. So all I'm gonna do is gonna put some duct tape over that. I'm gonna grind that back down. I'm gonna put a bit of filler over there and hopefully I've got something that can stick over there. Get rid of that sticker and get that rid of that sticker. That's what I'm gonna do. And then later on, we're gonna sort that out. These bits of rust out here, but I'm hopefully going to go and get a windscreen tomorrow and a frame for that. That's my plan. But that's scabby, I'm not scabby, but I've pushed and it's quite solid still. I'll end up getting the van stickered up and looking plush and hopefully we'll get some glass in these sides bits where especially just the front bit might just wrap that black i don't know yet who knows just winging this and we've also been sent to, um well no we haven't been sent them i bought them and they're going on the windows so we'll get that chucked on today we'll get them put on we might just give it a bit of a wash some aero things but there's lot some wind deflector things but there's loads of little light scratches and stuff so it's gym machine polish but all the valeting haters are going to hate this because i'm just going to wipe that down and then send it, that's what I'm gonna do. That is what I'm gonna do, and I had a mishap with my razor, and I've got my beard off, and I don't like it, because it's seen a big double chin. But there we go, waffle over. I'm just gonna square this up. We'll have a look back when I've squared it up a bit. Now, this is just a rough, rough repair, honestly. This is not, nothing to stand, and my duct tape, I've burnt through it, but I don't really care. I was gonna take the door handle off, but it's got that much timber behind. I'm just gonna scrape it around there with a screwdriver, get some masking tape, mask that up a bit better, give this a scuff up, and thin bit of filler over there, knock that back, and then we might put some rust cure on it just to stop it bubbling back. But when it gets to this stage, and it's got what I call the death, that will just keep coming back through and coming back through. So, but this will just tie me away for a few months till we get sorted to do with, get on with it, whatever, and waffling. There we go, that's how bodgy it's looking. And with all the abrasive stuff that we use, massive shout out to Clint Spore, being a massive backer of the channel for a long time. And that just helps us massively to create this content. And the products are very, very good. There's a link down below, as they're always in the description, but most reputable, most reputable, is it the right? Most decent hardware places should, sell you these because you just they're brilliant they last twice as long three times as long they're just better they're better than everything else i've tried all the cheap stuff because i'm a cheap northerner so they do everything all your da discs all your wet and dries this is our little clean spa shelf all the stuff they're just fantastic top notch quality got some rust cure slapped on that and why that's drying off i'm just going to take this sticker off and hopefully not pull any lacquer off and hopefully that's not lacquer peel and then a bit of glue and tear on them bits and just tidy that up it just looks rough what i've always found with like a solvent tidiest remover glue and tear remover is get it on some paper towel really damp and apply it and leave it so it really softens it up and then you can clean it off with your microfiber cloth you might have to repeat it a couple of times, but that has been exposed to the weather and the elements, so it is minging. So basically like that, leave it soften up, but you can always get your microfiber cloth and tap your microfiber cloth on there to make it more wet. No, oh, some people are gonna hate me for not cleaning this van first. Mm -hmm. Not my not my job, not my problem. My van, my job, do it how I like. If it was a brand spanking new tailgate, it'd be fine. But never go and just let it soak in. So what I've done is I've gone round me sticker selection. So in one of our containers, which is losing light, we keep all the drags 
All the drags? All the drags? No, there's no drags in here. Hello, boys. We keep all the dregs of all the last bits of wraps or anything to use for piecing up the race car if we have any damage. I was hoping that I had a full pink side because the pink is going. And I was just going to put like the side there with the shine logo, that bit, across there. But I don't. So I've got this. So if you see he's driving up the road, it's the wrong way around, but never mind. I'm trying to talk loud because I forgot to turn the radio off. I think after four years of doing this, I'd be able to do that. So we're going to stick that along the bottom just to make it look better because I'm sick of it. They've come off really well. So, and we'll do that. I'll just clean this up, stick that on. And um, we've lost light now. So I was going to take it outside and give it a polish off, but I might just like polish over the muck in here like I did years ago with a car, like to really make people cringe. But there we go. That's right enough. It's going to rust. It's going to come back through. I just want it to look better for now. Well, by the time I black the bumper, which I'll just do with tyre black because obviously this is temporary. I bloody cracked the number plate, didn't I? Put it back on. So, but it just looks loads better. We'll get it outside next and we'll give it a spam up. Yeah, it just it just doesn't look so rotten now because these bits, you don't really notice until you're looking close up. But that, that was scabby. And now, just on first hand, it looks, it looks, it looks wicked. I managed to get the sticker to go in there well as well. So, Robert Jack! Yay! So I, I've got back to the garage and Lewis has finally decided he wants to work a Saturday and he's in a t-shirt. The man is in a t-shirt. He's wearing a t-shirt. It's freezing, Lewis! You're in a t-shirt. <laughs> it's freezing. I am dressed like an Eskimo and Lewis is, um, is in his t-shirt. Well, so we've got an issue with the van. It, the brakes are sticking on, Lou, really bad. And I scrimped, we didn't put shoes on it. I think we need to put some shoes on it. Yeah, so Lewis is there. Uh, taking photos so he knows how everything goes back together. I've got some pads on the way. Some shoes, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, she's been a bit gripping. She's been getting a bit off. Aren't she, Ellie? Yeah! There we go. So I'll get them done, get me handbrake set, and that's... That's the Vito handbrake sorted out. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right. And Lewis is still in a t-shirt. I don't understand it. I don't understand how you're not freezing, Lewis. I'm not. That's crazy. So Lewis is building that side up now. They're all going back together now by the star man. Whoa, he's the star man. One thing with me van is the lights are garbage. And I think I've got a light out. So I've just bought some... Uh, Light kit off the internet. I'm going to see if it's any good. Not a H HID or whatever they've been called. Just a normal, <coughs> better beam pattern, eyes white. So I'm just going to pull it in the garage. We're in the front of the garage now. Why well, I've got 10 minutes because I need to be up my mams to help her with some boxes from the Christmas decoration back up in the loft. So yeah, here we go. Let's get scaled in and, and have a look. Have a look. Bloody lens is mucky, I think. Is it? Well, they look a lot better. They're like really bright and white, so hopefully I can see where I'm going now. Hopefully, hopefully that's the plan anyway. Any months later. So I'm giving it a wash down now. I'm well happy with all that's come up. Oh, that bit did go wrong, so I've had to take it off, but I'm not too bothered because this is only only temporary. The the uh tow bar all black tucks and I've made it look good and it's, it's getting there really it's not a bad thing that quarter is a different colour but it's probably going to be a different colour again because I want to try and sort these out in a previous episode and then we'll get the um, wind deflectors on if I've got time if it doesn't rain what do you reckon Bella oh yes Colleen you better get that done tonight Right, so that's the second episode of the van. If you want to see us turning it into more stuff, 
let us know. Click here to watch more videos. We've been Shine Automotive. I'm Colin. See you in the next one. Try.